how to get into research after BDS is a commonly asked question. In today's video, we are going to answer that. I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Before understanding the different types of options of getting into research, you have to understand two basic facts. First is the difference between a lab research and a field research. Lab research is one in which a group of researchers are working on maybe a dental material, an instrument or equipment. Field research is one which is done in a larger scale. For example, let us look at oral cancer. Now while working with oral cancer, they would have to understand how is oral cancer related to tobacco, what is the prevalence of it, what age groups are majorly affected, what are the various treatment options, what is the survival rates and how does these treatment plans work. For all this, research is done on a large scale by collecting data and analyzing it. Now that you understood the difference between what a field research or a lab research is, you have to understand the second aspect that is the primary team which does the research and the back end team. Now, if the experiment is extremely large, there is a team which is doing the actual research that is collecting the data. On the other end, there is a back end team which analyzes this data, assimilates it and comes out with conclusions. This is the back end part of any research. Now that you understood these two major differences, first let us talk about how to get into the lab research part. To get into the lab research part, you are expected to be an expert in the field. For this rules, they usually prefer people who have done PDS and MDS at times PhD as well. This is why they are sure that you know what you are doing. Can you get into these roles after BDS? Yes, it is possible, but it is extremely difficult. Now, where are these kind of jobs? It is assumed that these kind of jobs are in those labs where they are developing the most modern technology. Of course, they are found there, but there are a lot of newer companies who want to work on materials or products which are already available require such kind of researchers. Let's look at the example of Alginet. It has been made by a multiple number of companies across the globe, used by a large number of dentists. But imagine a new manufacturer wants to get into it. They will have to know how to procure the material. They will have to see the various combinations of the materials which have to be used. Work on the mixing time, the setting time and other qualities and properties of the Alginet. For that, they need a team of researchers working on it. So these kind of jobs are found in modern growing dental fields as well as in old school manufacturing companies. Now to understand about this first kind of jobs that is working with research companies, we have already made two videos. One is with Dr. Sai Kalyan who is working with a manufacturing company in India. The other is with Dr. Shriyasha who has gone to US, did her degree in dental biomaterials and working out there. Now comes the second type of research activity that is the field based research activity. For this you find jobs in various NGOs, government organizations or public health facing companies. Now how do they find people for these jobs? They prefer people with a degree in masters in public health. So to get into them having a PDS and then doing MPH is an added advantage. To understand this type of field based research work, we have shot a video with Dr. Akash Prabhune. You can go and check out that video right now or check the link of the video in the description below. Before you listen to the third kind of opportunity of getting into research after BDS, if you are liking this video, please do not forget to hit the like button below because we put a lot of effort to coming up with such kind of videos. And I'm sure you're subscribed to the channel because we keep on coming up with amazing content to take your career to the next level after BDS. Now, how do you work in the back end part of the research? There are various KPO organizations that is knowledge process outsourcing organizations which collect these data from various companies. They analyze, assimilate and come out with conclusions. These are basic clinical research jobs. They are also found in companies which deal with pharmacovigilance. We have already made a video explaining what clinical research is and what pharmacovigilance is. You can go and check these videos out. And to make it more easy and understandable, 
we have done a video with Dr. Neha Sharma who is working in pharmacovigilance after BDS. Now for these kind of jobs, you can try and apply after BDS if you are competent enough. But there are courses which would help you get a certificate for both clinical research or pharmacovigilance. You can read and learn more about that in our videos about them. I'll link those videos in the description below. If you have any questions or doubts regarding it, please do not forget to write them in the comment section below. I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed.